morning you guys welcome back to my channel danielle here and i slept so uncomfortable arthur kept tossing and turning and we decided to flip ourselves so we rested our heads where our feet usually are and it was just so uncomfortable it just didn't feel right but that means i woke up super early and we're gonna head over to the thrift and I want to go early for two reasons. The first one is obviously I just want to see all the inventory before everyone else. But also I have to take my own thumbnail since Arthur isn't with me. And I'd rather do that when there's very little people. I do have a few things that I'm on the hunt for. The first thing is just a very basic white crop tank top that has rivet construction. Just because I have a thrift flip idea and right now I'm like super obsessed with star. So I just kind of want to put star patches on everything. And the second, I am currently obsessed with the coquette aesthetic. I think it's super hyper femme, very dainty. I love that it revolves around the color pink, so wanna pick up a few pieces like that. But for the first time ever, I'm in absolutely no rush. I still have like a good 40 minutes until the thrift opens, so let's head on over. I've only had my devonies on for about like 10 minutes and my feet already hurt, but I brought a measuring tape, so if I run into cute pants, I'll know if they fit me or not. But my lift doesn't get here for another seven minutes, so we're just gonna chill in the lobby. in real quick to thank today's sponsor which is Caseify. They're a tech accessories brand that's known for their protection, sustainability, and customization. They literally have cases for all of your tech devices like your phone, your iPad, AirPods, your Nintendo Switch, literally everything. But today we are talking phone cases, two of them in specific. We have their impact case, which is here, and this can withstand a 6.6 .6 foot drop. And then we have their ultra impact case, which can withstand a 9.8 foot drop. And you can see that we have these corners here that are made of Chi Tech 2.0 shock absorbing protection. So this has got you covered. But they're both made with 65% recycled and plant-based materials and both made with three times military grade protection. So with all that info, let's put it to the test. The drop test. All right, y'all, we are at the top of a flight of stairs here in my building. I'm pretty nervous about this just because I drop my phone pretty often, just never on purpose. So let's see how well it does being tossed downstairs. No cracks, thank goodness, because it slammed against the wall. Okay, I brought my phone into better lighting, just double checking, I don't have any cracks, and it looks totally good, not even a scratch on it, and I threw it down the stairs. So definitely passes the drop test. The Caseify is really big on never having to sacrifice style for protection, so they offer a ton of colors, prints, and then customization. We'll get to that in a bit, but let me show off my cases. So I got this pink and Ven one. Anything that is pink and cutesy, I'm absolutely sold on, so that was freaking adorable. And then I also have this one here, which is their Brockozilla case, in reference to Gojira or Godzilla, which I really like just because when I was in uni, I actually took a Japanese pop culture course. So I love that reference. And then my favorite thing that Caseify offers is their customization. This is literally my favorite phone case ever, but I put Twinelle all over the back here and then shows this really nice peachy color, but they have a ton of fonts and colors to choose from, so you can really make it so that it best reflects you. And of course, I couldn't just get one for myself, so I also got one for Arthur. His favorite colors are black and red, so of course he had to do a black background and then red text. So this customization feature, Totally love it. And I like that you're also making one of a kind designs. And if I were ever to find myself in a situation where my phone was pulled in with other phones, I'd immediately know this belongs to me. What's really awesome too is that their cases have an antimicrobial coating which kills 99% of bacteria, but they're also non-toxic, non-hazardous. And so if you're ready to start protecting your tech, I do have a link down below that'll give you 15% off your purchase. So let me know which case you end up getting. But a huge thank you to Caseify for sponsoring today's video. Let's head over to the thrift. Well, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here a little too early. I still have a whole 10 minutes until they open. So I'm just gonna wait outside awkwardly until someone opens these gates. These are the longest 10 minutes of my freaking life. I get hecka stares anytime I wear my demonias and like I feel confident in myself, but it still makes me feel so awkward. But we actually have to enter through the donation center over here just because I think there was an accident that happened. So the little chismosa on me is gonna go ask an employee because I gotta know. Woo 
guys this is like disneyland i'm literally gonna be the first one to enter the building and we have to go through this side door but i still want to know what happened so let's go find an employee try to get the story on why we have to enter through this side door look at it guys i think someone may have crashed into here that's nuts it's literally bending in or curving in i came straight to skirts and a lot of the racks are empty, so that's a little scary, but I did come across all that jazz. It's a size large, so I won't be taking it, but wanted to at least show it off. It has a black mesh shell, lettuce edge trimming. This is hecka cute. The other skirt I had in mind, where are you? Uh, is this one here. It's not really my style. I feel like this is a little too edgy for me, but I really like this like massive dual buckle detail, but it's the brand, what is this? fiction never heard of it before so i'll keep that in the back of my head and if i'm still thinking about it i'll come back to get it i came into the shorts now i like this buckle detail but it's rusting quite a bit and maybe it just looks a little awkward i am liking this this is definitely opposite of what i was looking for this is definitely a lot more alternative i love the stripe though and then i have my tape measure so i'm just gonna measure it later i saw this from across the room please don't be fast fashion but look at this i love the shaggy cuffs and the collar it says it's a size small but there's no brand tag it does not feel like the best quality so we're gonna pass on that a little too hot still for jackets okay let me just go back to skirts again oh wait do you guys see that black item what are you oh it's just like a really shaggy vest now nah, we're gonna pass on that came across this red dress in the lingerie section this is so dang pretty it is a bit oversized on me so i won't be picking it up i also don't know the brand but i love that it has red lining and then a black shell over it <laughs> imagine with demonia's fishnet sleeves oh this is so freaking cute well, look at what I just found. This is the first time I've ever come across Miss 60 at the thrift. Nice. I don't know if I'm like a total fan of these pants. They have more of like a slim fit, which, oh my goodness, I haven't even wore close to a slim fit since high school. And then is this also mixed Miss 60? What are you? I'm definitely not striking gold today. This is usually my location where I find a lot of dead stock items, but we do have one employee who's still running back a whole bunch of racks still. So maybe I should just give it a moment till she's kind of done and then I'll retrace my steps and see if I find anything cute. Oh my goodness, look at what I just came across. These are ugly, right? Like, I know they're very unique and that's probably why I like them, but I should leave them, correct? Also, could we take a minute to appreciate this little heart detail? This definitely fits that coquette aesthetic that I'm going for, but I just checked the tag and it's Romwe. Literally everything that I'm picking up that's like remotely cute is either Romwe, Zaffle, Shein, or Wild Fable from Target. So it's a little disappointing that I'm not coming across as much vintage as I usually do. But I guess let's just keep looking. The thrift finds aren't that crazy today, but let's just do an outfit of the day. I'm wearing my favorite dragon tee with some fishnet sleeves, a little bubble skirt, and some demonias. My feet hurt so freaking bad, it's not even funny. These are absolutely beautiful. Look at this platform, this heel. Oh, the frill and the ribbon. Please be a size eight. What brand is this? I have no idea what that says. I also don't know what size it is, but it doesn't look that big. So I think it might fit me. You know what, let's just try them on. And they're only $5.99, what the heck? I'm wearing my Van Gogh socks, but these definitely fit more like an eight and a half. I'm thinking they're $5.99 because this one doesn't have the ribbon like this does. But man, what a shame. These fit a half size too big, otherwise I would have taken them. I was turning the corner to check out the last row of shoes and then I saw these pants. Do y'all see that same detail? Please, please be cute. Oh, oh, I love this. Okay, it's like corduroy construction. The zipper pull looks like the pool's missing, but it still works. And what size are you? A size two. That's a little too small for me, but I brought my measuring tape. We'll measure it later. You know, these aren't any Jenko jeans. 
but they are guest jeans and they're size 29 so it'll fit me a little bit more low rise and i like that it has this carpenter style to it so wearing them with like my demonias in a baby tee or a tank top that would look super cute let's do rejects of the day i only have two of them i'm gonna say bye to this vintage long sleeve i'm just i gotta be real with myself with the way that i sweat i'm gonna deteriorate this fabric so mm -mm, cannot do that i'm so sad to leave these behind but they just fit me way too small like the waist fits but the hip is only 32. i have 37 38 inch hips so there's no way this is gonna go up my thighs but these are so dang cute so if you fit a 26 32 hip come snatch this up i'm pretty much done now so let's go take a thumbnail we're back from the thrift now and i got a new set of nails if you want to see them in closer detail go hit me up on instagram and if you want links to all the supplies i use I will send them over because it's so worth doing it yourself. But a quick question for all my nail techs out there because I pulled off these charms from just washing my hair in the shower and I don't know how to keep them on there for more than like two, three days. So if you have a solution, please let me know down in the comments. But back to this thrift haul here, I kind of feel let down by this thrift trip because this location never does me wrong and I only walked out with around like nine, 10 items and I did hit all the aesthetics and things that I like. They just weren't like, wow crazy pieces or like very cool dead stock items but let's get started with some tops so many fast fashion brands have overplayed the graphic of a butterfly and i feel like it's now become the first thing that comes to mind when you think of y2k but i still like butterflies i think they're super cute so i picked up this mesh top here there really isn't much to this shirt besides the graphic and that's really the focal point but the cuffs and the hem do have lettuce edge trimming which is really nice and then i love how it's just very meshy spandexy stretchy material just because it makes it super comfy and also look at this tag it's made in usa and is the brand eminence but i feel like this is what fast fashion brands were trying to copy and replicate i also picked up another little mesh piece this one is super cute definitely a lot more girly a lot more colorful it screams spring and summer i honestly have never heard of this brand before it's clue i was just sold on the paper tag on the side that says made in usa but it just has a classic spread collar button front closure short sleeves and i love that it's mesh too because i can wear a blue bra a purple bra a green bra and you can see it right through this moving into a new aesthetic and something that's more dark and romantic similar to what i'm wearing now especially with these bloomers that i have been obsessed with is this shirt here i absolutely love it and i probably do i see myself wearing this maybe later on in the day just because it's so hot in summer right now that wearing long sleeves in socal uh-uh, not a chance. I mean, it does help that it's sheer lace, but let's talk about these details, especially the frill trimming on the collar, on the cuffs, and especially the front here because it just gives it so much texture. And the way I would want to style it is like a character straight out of Nana. I also picked up this dress here, and it's the last feminine item of this haul. Everything else is very boyish and masculine, but look at how pretty this is. I love the contrast between the bodice and the skirt, and it just plays with silhouette, which I really like. So I I'm usually not a fan of puff sleeves if they're like short and dramatic like that but if they're balloon sleeves like this where they're a little bit more loose and longer in length I absolutely love it it's also smocked at the cuff so it's gonna make it look very dainty and pretty but it has an all-over floral print it has a covered button detail running from the bust all the way to the hem and the quality feels all right this isn't vintage for sure it's the brand kiss the sky which I've never heard of before so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of googling I know I'm always like, I don't wear long sleeves during summer. I don't want to wear layers. I don't like jackets. Yet I have a full rack of jackets behind me. And you guys always make sure to let me know down in the comments. But I got another jacket in the summer, but I couldn't resist. When you come across a cute jacket at a thrift and it's nicely priced, you just got to pick it up. The bomber jackets are making a comeback. And I've never really been into a red and blue combo because to me, it just screams more Spider-Man. But in this case, it's giving a very girly racer Y2K and I'm totally here for it. But also just shapes wise, I've really been into stars. So we have one here on the chest that says Be Racing. And then this brand is Babe Score. We also have the stripe running through the collar, the cuffs, and the hem too. So it's just a good combo of girly and sporty. 
We're finally moving into some bottoms now. So let's start off with some shorts. I actually have a pair of shorts that look like this already and I made a reel on it. I'll put it right over here. And I had so many people asking me what the brand is or how to categorize this style and I honestly didn't know and the brand was an Asian one. So I decided to pick these up to put them on my site. But this is the brand Sally's. They do have a longer inseam and then they just have this stripe print all over. And during the summer, I feel like you're one of two girls. You're either a booty short moment or you like more of the modest silhouettes, which I'm more of the modest. I just think they're more comfy, but they are pretty versatile too. Like you can wear them with a vest and layer up the way I did or pair it with a tank top, a baby tee, boots, that's all you need. I showed it in the earlier clip, but I also picked up these cargo shorts by Guess Jeans. These are definitely a lot more boyish. And so this is more of the vibe I like to go for during the summer because like I said, it's really comfy. But also this carpenter style with the hammer loop, these like big oversized pockets are super in right now. I'm really stoked that I found these because during the summer, I get like super bloated and my fingers swell and a lot of my clothes just fits a little too snug on me. So these are going straight to Chicago with me next month. I'm just gonna probably pair it with like a crop top or a baby tee and my ducks. So even though I'm pretty petite, I do have a lot of hip and like I don't have a butt. I just have a lot of hip, which makes me a little bit wider. So usually these pants would fit a little bit more loose and baggy, but on me, they honestly fit like a freaking glove. They're so comfy and hug me in all the right places. This is the brand Hydraulic Jeans. I've actually never heard of this brand before. The quality is pretty nice. Like the denim feels pretty thick and durable, but I like that it has a little bit of distressing here. So, you know, gives it a little bit more character and personality. We're down to the last item of this haul and I love these so much. They're these Miss 60 jeans that I showed you earlier. They are so freaking awesome. But tell me why I took my measuring tape to the thrift and I didn't measure any rise measurements. I only did the waist. So this measured at a 29 waist, which I was like, oh yeah, that'll totally fit me. But then I tried them on and didn't realize that these are actually a low rise. And when it comes to low rise pants, I usually need between like a 30 to a 31 waist. So these fit me a little snug, but I don't care because these are absolutely stayed in my personal wardrobe. They do have more of a flare leg when you have them on. Here it does look more of a kick, but the inseam is so freaking long, even with my demonias on to give me literally five inches of height, they still fit very long. So I'm probably gonna have to tailor them or I might just chop it off and then fray the hem. But you guys, that pretty much does it for my Goodwill thrift haul. If you like, oh, totally forgot to mention, Goodwill and what happened to the front of the store and why you have to go through the side building. So I totally, as soon as I walked in, I went straight to the skirts and then forgot to ask an employee. But while I was checking out, I was talking to the cashier and he had told me that late at night around 9 p.m., the store was already closed. Someone parked their truck incorrectly. It literally rolled down the street and smashed straight into the front window. I was just like, oh my God. Thank goodness no one was working because the registers are right there in the front, so it could have gotten really dangerous. But luckily the store was empty. It was just the front that got pretty dinged up. But from the outside, it looks closed. So if you plan on going, it's still open. Regular store hours, you just have to go in through the side. But if you liked any of the items that I picked up, let me know down below in the comments. Again, a huge thank you to Caseify for sponsoring today's video. So if you wanna start protecting your tech, don't forget I do have a link down below that you can click for 15% off. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.